Hey, what's up guys? This is the uh, IntelliBeam how-to video for installing a new 2.5 inch hard drive into your TiVo uh, Bolt 4K. Um, the particular one I'm using is a Toshiba 3 terabyte. Uh, it's 15 millimeter uh, thickness which will fit in here. Um, the standard drive in here is 9.5 I believe. This uses 1.7 watts, inside uses 1.4. Uh, and this particular drive is a PMR drive as opposed to some of the 4 terabyte um, Seagate ones that uh, use SMR. Uh, nobody really knows if it's going to make a difference in the TiVos at this point, but I'm not going to bother risking losing uh, some recordings and one passes and stuff in the future. So I'll just stick with the 3 terabytes instead of the 4 just to be safe. Um, so the only tools you'll need for this other than your hands is a uh, T10 security bit um, and a powered screwdriver or you can use manual or whatever. Uh, just be careful not to overdo uh, it. So first off we'll start. There is a screw in the back to take off. And that's the only unique one out of all the screws that I take off. So just got to remember to keep that one separate. Then underneath you have the cable card slot. Uh, and there's two screws right here that gets uh, taken out. Uh, so then here you'll see that the TiVo gets separated by this strip right here. The hard drive's actually underneath here. Um, so we'll go ahead and take this off next. Um, basically, just flip it over. Pry up on, uh, underneath one of the corners right here, just a little. You'll hear it snap off, and then as soon as you hear the snap, flip over to the other corner. Try not to lock it back on again. Yeah, redo it. After you get all the corners off, don't keep prying because there's clips on the other side that have to come straight up. So once you get the corners, then you're basically just lifting it off. And there's the clips, and then there's three screws underneath here uh, that have to get taken out. So after that, um, I wish you could just take the drive out, but unfortunately that is not the case because then there's a screw underneath. Um, so then you would go ahead, just flip it back over, and then um, over where the cable card slot is on this area, it's basically easy to just pry these right down in that corner, then hit the other one. Hold that, and the whole thing. It wants to come off right after that. One last clip right here. Always one just wants to stick. Like that. Whole top comes off. Then inside you have the hard drive exposed. 
Um, so then next you would want to zip off the hard drive screw that's right here. Separate. Take out the routing of the Wi-Fi cable. Drive itself comes right up. Pop off the connector in the back. Then take the foam uh, clips off for the next drive. I've already done this before, that's why it's a little bit easier for these to come up for me. Then on the back you get four more screws holding the drive down. So zip them off. There's the old 500. I believe it went like that. Or do I have it backwards? Uh, let's see. Just like that. That. Flip that. Maybe uh, wait to put the foam clips back on, so then you have it flat with the table, make it much easier. Plug the drive back in. Line up all the slots where the screws go. Pop the Wi-Fi cable back on. And then just screw the drive back in. Don't overdo it. There you have the drive installed. So uh, now just repeat uh, reverse order of what you just did and to put the case on. So you can stop watching there if you like. Otherwise, I'll put it back on and give you a tip right here for it. This back is almost impossible to end up lining up. The best way to do it before you put it back on is to start over here where the remote finder is and get this to be flush. Otherwise you'll be here for ever trying to put this connector back on and line it up. So once you get it where it clips in like that, then you can go ahead and then put the remaining clips back on. Otherwise this isn't going to line up correctly and you'll be unclipping things and clipping it all back in. And Stuff like that. So, put your three screws back in. Very carefully.
cover back on over here. No matter how many times you do this, it's always something new every time. So I'm going to take the cover back off real quick because it's not lined up correctly. You know, I think I put the foam insert a little too close, that's why. Flip it a little bit more to the side. Nope. I'm guessing with the height, the 15 millimeter, this doesn't sit quite well. So I'll leave one of the foam clips on and I will take this one off let's see if it goes back in now There you go. You just have to relocate where that um, foam Wi-Fi clip is. Sit back these in. Screw goes right in the back. And there you have it. That is replacing the 500 gigabyte stock drive with a 3 terabyte um, Toshiba. So hopefully this video helps out uh, you guys when it comes to swapping out your drives. Good luck. Once again, that's the IntelliBeam how-to video for the TiVo Bolt uh, hard drive replacement. Thanks for watching.